Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today I want to do something a little bit different. As you can see there's no news and that actually works out quite well because there's a video that I've wanted to do for a while. And thankfully this video gets helped out a little bit more since I've had access to the battles build for Immortal Empires. No campaign, just custom battles. So let's just be perfectly clear here. There's an obvious problem with regards to the settlement battles because there's way too many and I don't think it's because of the actual maps themselves. I think it's because of the mechanics. There seems to be a kind of justifiable fatigue when it comes to the player base when it comes to these maps, mostly because, well, the AI does cheat for them, there's the whole case of you're building as you're playing, and it's a bit of a strange thing considering that, well, you know, in the middle of a war zone you won't have people erecting towers. Barricades, yeah, maybe, but it's doesn't really feel too total war -y, and it doesn't really feel Warhammer tabletop style either. Now again, I just have to be very perfectly clear here, I like the settlement maps, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I've been playing a lot of custom battles, just enjoying the different settlements that we do have, the Tomb King one specifically, which is what I should be showing on screen as footage, because goddamn, they're just really, really cool, but a little bit of a fix would go a long way just to make it a bit less of a slog. So I've got some ideas here and hopefully you guys like it. This can be presented to Creative Assembly. Maybe they like it too. It's just one of those things that I think a feedback video would be very good. All right, so let's begin. Basically, as it stands, the most, if not all of the mechanics can actually stay in game. I think it works out very well, but with a little change on how things actually work, it would probably be a lot better. You see, I'd say at the beginning you should be able, before a battle starts, to be able to build up towers, barricades, and anything else in between. It does make sense that if your village or your major cities are going to get sieged, well, you're going to want to build up some extra defenses to be able to repel the invaders. This is something that happens in real life, and yeah, it, that should happen in game. But what I do think is that you shouldn't really be able to build anything else after the start of the battle. This means it doesn't matter how many resources you had, you shouldn't really be able to gain any more supply resources anyway. It's just the case of what you've done is what you have. This should also be the same case for the AI, as really you're not going to be building up towers. Barricades, maybe in the case of an actual real war, you would be, but towers and stuff, you wouldn't really be building. You'd be more focused on the invaders, and you'd be trying to fight them back as fast as possible. So, yeah, just nothing there. The older historical games would give you a few traps, you know, some barricades and all that. And we've got pretty much the same system, but they had a limited amount. And I think that's what made sieges a bit better because it was more strategic that way. I want to build a tower here because it's going to get the firing done early on. Or I want to build it back here because it's going to not fire at the very beginning. But as the enemies push in into an area where I could block them in, this is where I could do the most damage. Rather than the player relying on outside sources to do damage or too much of extra help, this is, even goes to the AI too, obviously, you will focus on your army and you'll use the terrain mostly to help you get these fights done, which I think that's the most important thing. You've got all the walls, you've got all these different streets and all that. You want to fight in them, you want to actually have your fun there rather than having a tower doing the majority of the work, because in some cases, depending on how you've started the normal stuff, this is obviously in the vanilla build, well... Yeah, you know, you could do a lot of damage to an army before it even gets to you. The perfect example I would have would be Three Kingdoms, which is a game that I really enjoy playing. It's got decent sieges, it's probably not the best, but it does have a lot of good areas to fight in. Yes, you do have some defenses, and you can build some basic stuff, you know. So it does help out, but you're mostly relying on your force, you're relying on your characters, you're relying on your army to do the majority of the work, the grand majority, which I think is the most important thing. And nothing really needs to change when it comes to these mechanics too much, just take off the option of building extra as a battle starts. So when an enemy attacks you directly, you'd still have access to the usual amount of supply defenses because that makes sense. And if they've been sieging you for a few turns, then you'd get more supply defenses when the battle begins. Maybe just a little increment here and there. I'm not too sure exactly how it would work because that obviously needs to go through balancing, but you're taking more attrition, so you're starting to build up more because you need extra barricades, you need extra towering just to be able to, well, you know, 
match up against your enemy. This would obviously work the same way for the AI, or they could sally out and you could sally out. In fact, if anything, since you can't build too much more, as you won't be building during the battle, maybe that would give you more incentive to sally out and meet your enemy in a land battle. Maybe that would give the AI a bit more incentive too, as you are now objectively weaker, both of you. That's generally how I've tried to play my siege battles as it goes in vanilla, where I'm not building up anything else. And you can notice the difference, you can really notice the difference. Of course, this is just me when I'm defending, as the AI will build up as expected, but I do notice the difference, it's a lot more fun, it's a bit more hectic, and it just feels more like a proper battle in my own home turf, where I am defending and I am starting to suffer. This means that I need to think a bit more when I'm getting attacked by overwhelming odds, or maybe just an army which is a bit smaller but a lot stronger. I need to think, where do I need to position my troops? Where is the best place to meet them? I can't meet them at the entrance of the city because that is just going to keep me slogged down there. Maybe I can get them in an area where I can get some flanks off. It's just being a bit more strategic, which I know a lot more people are missing. And, well, you know, it's a lot more total war. Really, I think that will just fix a lot of problems. I know a lot of people don't like it and they've been asking for more land battles and more land battles. And I think that this would even lead to a few more. I get why everyone is so tired and fed up of it. In all honesty, I really, really do. But now that we're getting a lot of new maps, that we're getting a lot of really cool formats, again, the Tomb King one's just amazing. I'd like to see this system expanded upon a lot more just so we can have some fun, you know? So we can have some really cool siege battles and minor settlement battles, and it isn't going back to the Statue of Sigmar constantly, you know? Sieges have always been a hot topic for Total War, because some of the games have them really well done, some of them don't. Warhammer clearly didn't originally, and they tried to find a situation where, yeah, some people like it, some people don't, and I still think that they're really close to the mark. I think that they've done really well so far. So just with the basic changes that I've suggested, I'm not sure if other people have suggested it in the past because, well, it's pretty simple then I think that it would just make it a lot better for people and people would enjoy them a lot more. Now, there's always going to be people who don't like them, that's very much certain, but I think that this has this feeling that is far from the tabletop and Warhammer in general because we never really had like big strategic style maps unless you custom made them and they were quite difficult to navigate in most cases, but it's very Total War-y, and I think the Total War aspect has to take over in Warhammer here because it's just re very much needed. It's very different to tabletop. I'm trying to be very clear here too. I'm not being negative. It's the fact that I really like the system and I want to see it improved. And yeah, you never know what Creative Assembly do have planned. I'm not expecting a change before Immortal Empires launches. Let's be very honest. They're probably busy just trying to get everything going, fixing any last known bugs and all that, which is more important. That is very, very clear. So I'm happy to wait a few patches if it's needed because, yeah, you know, I'd rather them put their focus on Immortal Empires and, well, you know, Chaos Dwarves and all that because, well, that's just a bit more exciting than a siege rework if I can be perfectly honest. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe you guys have better ideas on how it could be fixed. I'd love if I could just go through the comments and just you know, take screenshots and just present that to CA it would be nice. The idea is just to have something cool, you know, and have something that can be replayable without it being too much of a slog. But yeah, let me know and let's start a bit of a discussion.